<laughs> okay, you're probably wondering how I got here. And no, I wasn't kidnapped. And no, there aren't any aliens. But today, we're going to talk about the electric chair. In case you didn't know, potato batteries use the acids in the potato to start a reaction with two electrodes made of copper and zinc that cause electrons to flow from one to the other through the potato. And since electricity is just the movement of electrons, this creates power. The acids in the potato react with the metals, creating an electron imbalance at each electrode. It keeps the ions formed by the reaction separate from each other, but conducts electricity through its water and its electrolytes. The reaction shoves the electrons in the copper nail over to the galvanized nail, which is coated in zinc. Okay, I'm going to show you how to make this. Potato, galvanized nail, copper nail. You could also use a penny, that works too. And you get uh, an alligator clip, clip it on one side, another alligator clip, clip it on the other side. Then with these two, you connect them to the other potatoes. So, you connect it right here to this one, and connect it to another one, like this. Then you connect them all in a row. Okay, so I'm strapped down, there's the battery, and here comes the executioner. Wait a second! Okay, so we know exactly why this didn't work. The first reason was these potatoes even though they, we have a lot of them, that's nowhere near enough volts to be able to actually kill a person. We only made like one volt with this, and you'd need about 2,000 to actually kill a person. And with this chair right here, with the hat, it'd be a metal hat sort of thing with a, a wet sponge in there, so then the electricity could flow better and actually get the person. And this chair would actually be wooden, so then it wouldn't actually take any of the charge. And these straps would be metal with, again, the wet sponges underneath. And, yeah, that's it. I deserve that. So, I know you guys wanted to see me get hurt, so we're going to try something else. Because I'm a potato.